Should I wait for interest rates to change before I buy? Yikes, what a difference a year makes. Interest rates are three to 4% higher than they were a year ago. What's the smart play for you to do as a buyer? Wait for rates to come down or buy now anyway. I'm Sally Daly from The Daily Group at Douglas Elliman, and we're gonna dive into pro tips if you're a buyer. you say why would I buy now when we can afford so much less house isn't the smart play to rent until rates come down it's true affordability has taken more hits than Rocky Balboa and all we hear from pundits on cable TV folks is that the sky is falling and that rates may get higher while my crystal ball is broken I would agree that rates could go a little higher and do appear by many economists predictions to be staying relatively stable at these levels for the foreseeable future. So back to what to do. First, it'd be smart to assume that the days of artificially low interest rates under 3% are over. They just are. Second, think about how long you plan to be in the house. A short-term need, say a couple of years, could mean that renting does make more sense than buying. If your plan is a buy for a longer period of time, say over four years, buying probably still makes sense. Yes, current rates mean you can afford less house than a year ago, but here's a pro tip on how to navigate these now more expensive waters. One, focus on the payment, not your rate. That silly phrase, date the rate, marry the house, is not good advice. Do not go into a purchase assuming you will be stretched now, but will be able to refi to a better rate over time because you may not be able to. Make sure you can afford the payment now. If rates go down, great. If they don't, you won't be stressed and place your financial well-being at risk. And if rates go up, you'll be so glad you locked in at the lower rate. Two, ask the seller or the builder to buy down your rate. What the heck does that mean? In a buy-down, the person selling you the house pays a sum of money at closing that goes to your bank each month towards your mortgage payment, meaning you get to pay a payment at a lower rate. For example, let's say your rate and payment should be 7% or $1,000 a month. In a buy-down, each month you would pay the 5% or $800 with $200 each month coming from that contribution to make your payment whole. Cool, right? Buyers and their agents often do not think about this type of closing cost contribution when making offers. Yet a buy down can boost your affordability tremendously. Why would sellers be willing to do that? Well, think of a buy down contribution as a way for sellers to have their house appeal to all buyers, cash and those who need or want a mortgage. The more people that can buy their house, the better their position in the marketplace. Most sellers would gladly contribute money to your rate buy down if it meant a stronger sales price and ability to sell to all buyers, not just cash buyers. And the cost of a buy down to you is often a lot less than a price reduction that's necessary to appeal to cash buyers. So good for everyone. Finally, Jumping into this market now is a smart play for buyers as so few deals are happening and you'll have less competition than if rates dropped. Less competition means you'll have more negotiation power in getting your dream home. So talk to your trusted real estate advisor and your loan officer to understand what you can afford with current rates and a proactive strategy of asking sellers for a rate buy down. It's a no risk proposition. They may say no, but guess what? They might say yes. The bank will require you to qualify for the full payment, but in the short term, you can sock away money for a couple of years and either refi or invest your money in different vehicles in the interim. Do you have hesitation about jumping into this market? Have you asked a seller to buy down your rate? How did it work out? Comment below as we'd love to hear. I'm Sally Daly from The Daly Group at Douglas Elliman in Vero Beach, Florida. Until next time, take care and fingers crossed that you're going to get the house of your dreams.
If you wanna to talk to us about your search, give us a call and we'll be happy to help. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This way you'll get notified when we produce new videos. And if you wanna see more content right now, click to the videos to the left and you'll see more.